so we can impress Gustav. <laughs> okay. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. What it do, what it do? Back again, coming through. Who that is? That ain't nobody but me suit. About to do the do. Okay. Yes, we are back. As you can tell, the hair is done. So that means we got a different sponsor. Over here is giving me a little bit of trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to. It look a little. You see what I'm saying? Like over here is nice and round, and over here is like, <laughs> like what did I do wrong? Girl, I feel stressed. Anyways, I'm gonna deal with that later on. Listen, um, we in good spirits. We are about to do the do. I'm feeling a little bit of a neutral type of, you know what I'm saying? Like a neutral type of thing with a little bit of color. Okay, that's how I'm feeling, especially with this hair. Okay, before we get into this makeup, first we're gonna have a word from our sponsor, Zilu. Y'all know I love this company. I wear their glasses. Y'all know I wear their glasses. Every time y'all see me on live or whenever I pop in, I got them on. I wear them all the time. I absolutely love them. They are bomb. Okay, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into that. All right, boom. So today's video is sponsored by Zilu, and you guys know I absolutely love this eyewear company. This company offers prescripted as well as regular eyewear and some cool and funky sunglasses. They offer glasses for men, they offer glasses for women, and the kitties too. Let's not forget about the kitties, okay? There is something on here for everyone. They also have an array of colors and shapes, very retro, vintage styles, as well as a lot of modern and very chic, classy, sophisticated eyewear. There is something on here for everyone. You will not be disappointed. Disappointed. Zilu strives to give you high quality frames for an affordable price. Now, if you're like me and you wear prescripted glasses, if you know your prescription, after selecting your frames, there is a section right there for you to put in your prescription and they will handle the rest. And if you're like me and your work is to look at a computer screen or your phone for many, many hours, you're probably going to want a little bit of a blue light cut. And guess what? They offer that as well. In the description box, I will have all of the pairs that I am showcasing today listed, as well as the link to their website, and they were kind enough to offer us a discount code. So make sure that you utilize that little sweet deal right there, okay? <laughs> and once again, shout out to Zilu for sponsoring this video. We do love a sponsor over here, baby. <laughs> okay, so time to get the makeup going. This hair is giving me a hard time. I don't know what I did wrong. I just want like over here to stay and it's not staying. You know what I mean? Like, please stay. Don't fall in my face. You know what I mean? Like, over here is beautifully done and then over here something went wrong somewhere and I don't know where. Girl, forget about it. It still look cute. It don't need to be perfect. Okay. We figure it out, we figure it out. Okay, so uh, yeah, shout out to Zilu. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And um, without further ado, let's zoom in so we can get with Finn. <laughs> Okay, so did my brows and my concealer. I'm doing one eye because, okay, the concealer tends to dry. Listen, I don't know what I want to talk about today. You see what I'm saying? Like, this hair is giving me Joan Clayton vibe. Yes, <laughs> let's talk about that. So, anyways, um, the palette. Girl, what a mess. Okay, I'm going to be using the Nubian palette, the Nubian, Nubian, Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. This for me is an end all be all everyday palette, okay? And I'm not just saying that to put on a shameless plug of <laughs> use code silver. No, that's not what I'm doing. But look at this palette. It is perfect for everyday neutral glam. If you are that girl and you just want something that you can, you know, not have to think about and you don't have to grab a million palettes, like this has every single color for every single shade of woman out there, whether you're white or black or yellow or <laughs> green, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at the palette, the palette is perfect. So, because I wanna do a neutral eye, I tend to gravitate towards this palette a lot. This, as well as the Huda Nude palette, Palettes, those little three mini palettes like those are really really good too so just putting that out there you know something just letting y'all know what the deal is okay so I want to do a neutral eye so that's what we're doing okay first things first I'll pop them okay I need to clean off my brushes because I'm not grabbing no more brushes I need to spot clean hold on okay so for my first color 
and I want to talk a little bit just a little bit about the show girlfriends I have never watched the show and you know I got a VPN so now I'm exposed to all of these shows that I never really watched before so I'm really excited to watch certain shows yeah I'm late who cares okay first I'm gonna go in what should I go in with I think I'm gonna do this shade right here this you know neutral brown yeah like i don't like tony and i don't like lynn the show is a really good show but those two characters for me are just exhausting <laughs> you know like they make me want to go and watch something else granted i'm on season five child don't pay me no mind i'm gonna just go ahead and put this into my crease okay but lynn is literally like uh the girl is on drugs literally in the whole entire show she doesn't do any drugs but you know like she can't be righted and then you have tony tony is just she's 12 years old like she's forever 12 like something is not right with the show i understand that that's a very quirky and fun show Show. but yeah I just can't like <laughs> I've watched the Parkers that was also a show that I never really watched before and I watched that absolutely love that show you know what I mean like I love light comedy type of stuff anyways yeah Lynn and Tony though they are working my nerves like <laughs> and I know it's just a show but girl honey ciao I'm not even showing you, I'm just chatting and going on. Next, I'm gonna take this dark brown right here and with that, I'm gonna deepen that up a little bit. You see how soft and pretty that is? Like, you can even stop right there, put a little neutral color on the lid and move on. But I want a little bit more depth in there. So I'm gonna layer, but I'm trying to keep it also very soft. I don't want it too pigmented, okay? And this is going to be a really, really quick look. So just back and forth in the crease windshield wiper motions remember when we used to say that a lot <laughs> back blue that's pretty that is pretty that layering right there okay i'm also going to be doing a little shimmer but i'm also going to be putting a little bit of glitter on this so for the shimmer i don't really need it to be like super opaque like i said i want this look to be really light and pretty so i'm gonna go with should i go with this shade yeah let's take the shade this is a shimmer shade right here in the corner so with that on a fluffy brush because i just want a wash of this i don't need it to be super pigmented because i want it to be a little soft you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna take this and just dust it all over the lid super quick look okay and i'm also gonna do like a little like a, a graphic liner like i'm thinking like a light pink liner which i don't have so you know i'm gonna finesse it okay whoop de whoop shibbity boop 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 isn't that pretty boom we are done okay moving on Yo, they're noisy. Anyways, I'm gonna be taking this brown shade right here. They're kind of killing my vibe, actually, because they're super noisy today. Oh, and putting this on my lower lash line. There, I mean, the possibilities with this palette is just endless. Okay. Okay, so for my liner, first as a base, I'm gonna use the Morphe 00 Concealer. It's basically a white concealer and I'm gonna lay this down as my base and then like tap some light pink eyeshadow on top and I'm gonna do it pretty thick because I want it to show you know like after I put on the lashes and all of that I want it to show so I'm gonna go pretty high with it I'm gonna do basically a really thick liner oh my god I'm messing up already I changed my mind because this is very patchy so I'm gonna use what I know works which is the MAC 30, my cover effects concealer hold on yes this is the mac cover effects concealer and the shade that i have is nw30 it's really really light so i like to keep it for stuff like this for like cutting the crease and stuff like that because it's really going to help you know eyeshadows to pop basically <laughs> okay yeah so i'm actually going to mix it in with the white since i already have it there i know it's going to help it Okay, so I got the Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette, and I've had this for a while, never used it, but it's, you know, basically like pastel colors. So I'm going to go with this pink right here and just pat that right on top. It's not as light as I was going for, but I'm just like, why am I not using this palette? It's such a pretty little mini palette. 
Okay, so now that I got the liner, I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter glue. And like I said, I wanna put just a little bit of glitter on top of this. So, and I also want it to overlap the liner just a little bit. That's why I did the liner first. If you don't want this to be on the liner, you want the liner to just be nice and clean, do the glitter first, okay? So I'm just gonna pat this on right in the center, carry it up a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, and let that dry. Okay, for my glitter, like I said, I just want a little bit of action, nothing too crazy. I absolutely love these loose glitters by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This came out in a holiday collection, so I'm not sure if it's still available, but this one is called Glisten, and as you can tell, it's, I think it's a set of four or five glitters and they all look white but once you put them on they give off reflects of different undertones like pink green yellow purple blue this one that i have has a little hint of purple like this is the rainbow one is what i want to say yeah you know like it's multifaceted. like it has different reflex in it okay so for my lashes lady lashes don't know the name didn't find the name I'm gonna look for it today i promise okay i'm gonna pop these on and let's zoom out so we can show out but we gonna show out for show 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 all right <laughs> okay so we are zoomed out very light on the eyes yet playful and colorful at the same time just a little you know what I'm saying? just a little something something to throw out there Ooh, you know what i'm saying you look down he'd be like is that me, boo? Yes, it is. Okay. Listen. So, I already moisturized my face. Today, I use the Lululun Lotion. This is a Japanese brand. I have been using this for ages now. Well, not ages. I've been using this brand in particular for ages, but this particular product, I am new to. I really do love their stuff, though. It's kind of like the Fenty Fat Water, but not as thick, but it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying, like a little... It's not... 100% watery. Anyway, that is the skincare we are working with today. It's very light. It's giving me a little bit of a glow and it's really, really tacky. But yet and still, I am going to go in with my, what is this called? The Milk Hydro Grip. You know what? Put it on the brush. Put it on the brush. And I'm going to take one pump and just distribute it because I don't need a whole lot. You know, less is more. <laughs> Okay, next up we are going to do highlight and we're going to do concealer. Okay, I lost my train of thought there for a moment. So first I'm gonna go in with my concealer and just put that right in here. I really do love this technique. You guys hear me say it all the time, but basically you're just cutting out a lot of the foundation application. You know what I'm saying? Your face feels a lot lighter. It's not as cakey and you're still gonna look flawless because you know what I'm saying? The highlight is not mixed with any particular color and look at me forgetting my MAC paint pot. Ciao, not today. Okay, so today I am going to be using the, what is this? This is Current Affair. This is the red one. Not for any particular reason. They all do a really great job, you know? So, it's just, I got options, <laughs> okay? Okay, so now that I have that, I can go in with my concealer on my upper lip. I'm going in with the Huda, what is this? This is Coffee Bean. And we're going to chisel with this i like this one because it's not as deep like you don't need to go so deep you see what i'm saying it's just giving me a little bit of color which is what i need you know little hints of a reddish type of you got know y'all see it child i don't know why i'm sitting here trying to explain certain things y'all know <laughs> i'm a hot mess okay and with this i'm also going to carry this down my nose just like so <laughs> to blend out the contour i'm going to be using the morphe e5 it is a very dense fan brush but i really like it because it's on that angle so you know it's great for the perimeter of the face basically you know okay so for my foundation i am going to be using the born this way matte by Too faced and for this, all you need is two pumps, <laughs> okay? If you find yourself needing more than two pumps, you're doing something wrong, okay? Enough rambling, ciao, okay. We're gonna just pat it into the skin. I find that patting is what works for me. You see how that's covering up nicely? Mm. 
padding is what works for me so we're gonna do that and just tap around that highlight try not to go over that right now to make a mess of things okay so now it is time to work on this concealer I'm gonna start in the very center right here and just pat that out and I know you see that right there like after I'm done blending everywhere else like I like to just go in and pat over that just to blend everything together you know so right now I don't have any foundation on my nose all I have is concealer and the cream contour it really is an art to this thing like if you want to be perfect you want to do like you know full glam you know what I'm saying like you know just to up your makeup game and stuff like that you just <laughs> okay this is the procedure okay but above all I will say skincare skincare video is coming up soon like I said we're gonna shake it up on this channel a little bit okay we're gonna do some things we're gonna get you know what I mean? get things popping and pop locking okay so it is time to set the face first I'm gonna go in with Kunafa y'all know I love this powder I am not even going to you know what I'm saying dilly nor dally with you guys on this one now when it comes to setting your face if you want that airbrush you want that dolly look you want to look smooth you want to look perfect and you're not sure exactly why that is it's because you're not tapping you need to tap you need to set the situation like I like to just pat on top of it until it's nicely set and nice and smooth okay but if you want to bake you, you you know you're just gonna lay everything on top and then go in and dust it away I find that this works just as well as baking and it doesn't feel as tight under the eyes because baking can make you feel really dry and tight now personally I really don't have too much of a dry problem under my eye but that first initial set like putting that powder on top at first wait oh look at that on the eye honey take all my money Kunafa come on Huda when I tell you I love Huda you don't understand and it smells so heavenly I love the scent um yeah like that first initial set like if i set it with just you know just leaving that powder there i feel really 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 tight and i don't like that i prefer to feel a little bit more soft and flexible look at this under eye people so i prefer to pat it in until it dissolves and i'm done with it i will double up on powders because this is not a full coverage powder but it as you can tell like once that concealer is done really nicely like you don't need a whole lot you cinnamon bun by kunafa okay by kunafa cinnamon bun by huda girl bye okay and favorite brush e51 by morphe okay it's angled so it's great like as you can tell it's angled like you know it's going off like that so it's great for setting the face they have this and they have the smaller one the smaller one i love to use for the blush so but we're gonna tap this in we're gonna pat this into the skin so what I do is I tap it in here first that's way too much and I get some on the brush and then I cover the brush with it in the cap basically so you get it nice and even and then you just go in and pat it this is what's gonna give you that airbrush flawless look okay if you're gonna buff you're gonna do it it's gonna look patchy and that's not what we want okay the foundation itself was already full covered, so you don't need a whole lot of this. You just want to set everything in place, okay? So we're not actually using a lot of powder. We're just setting everything in place. We're just patting it in, and that's what's gonna give us that really nice smooth look. This is what's gonna fill up those pores. If you want, you can use a powder puff, but I find that powder puffs tend to be a little bit too heavy, in my opinion, so I prefer the brush, you know, like, also, the damp sponge method is really, really good because it's already damp, so it's not going to give you that cakey look, you know, and it's really good for melting stuff into the skin. The damp sponge is everything, but right now I'm tired of sponges because I'm tired of cleaning them. Like, <laughs> cleaning sponges are not fun, and the brush does a great job, so. Okay, so before I put that powder away, I'm going to do the same thing, just get some on my little mini angled brush like these angle brushes are just everything and this one is the e56 by morphe and we're going to contour the nose very soft very elegant you know we're not going to do a whole lot when it comes to contouring the nose this powder does a really good job at that it gives us just the right tint you know and that's what i want 
So now we want our bronzy fine to catch Pompey's eye because yes, we still try to catch him. Sometimes we take a break or whatever, but we want to catch him, okay? This is Fenty's Coconutty because we're feeling automatically, <laughs> baby. Okay, yes. And we're going to lively up this face and don't be no drag. We need to lively up this face. Cause reggae is another band. Yeah. We say you rock so, you rock so. Mm. And we dip so, we dip so. Okay. Okay, for my tear duct, I am going to go into this palette and take that same color that we had on the lid, but we're gonna put it right in there. I'm gonna do it a little bit more intense because you know we want in there. Or should we keep it soft? Let's do it soft. Okay, let's not do a whole lot. Look at that. Just a little something. Okay. Just a little something, something to get everything together. Okay. Very soft and pretty. I like it. Now I'm going to do my mascara. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do the blush, the highlight, the lips. You know the good stuff. And I'm going to find a really cute top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we can impress good stuff. <laughs> so we are looking coyotes. Okay. I love a good off the shoulder moment, honey. Show some deck, let's say. Okay. Maybe it'll help bring Poppy your way. <laughs> I don't know. Listen. Okay. So blush. Should we do highlight? Let's do highlight. We have to do everything. Are you kidding me? What am I talking about? Okay, so this is the tried and true, my babe. This is everything in one palette. I'm not straying. Your girl is just, <sighs> hope you like the blue. <laughs> and for my blush, I am, today, what should we do? Should we do pink? No, let's do nail, okay? We're gonna put it high up and just feather it down, okay? Okay, so everything is saying, you maybe you should do like a nude lip, but I don't feel like doing a nude lip. I wanna do something fun. So I'm gonna go in with Fenty's, what is this, on locked. I'm gonna use this as a liner and create like a colorful nude lip. <laughs> or an ombre lip is what it's supposed to be called. Okay, let's do that. Y'all know I'm a hot mess. Okay, for the center, I'm gonna go in with In Vogue by Julius Place and just press until I get it to the blend that I want. Okay, so it's time to get into these glasses. So I'm just gonna pick them up in, you know, whatever order, no random order. I absolutely love these. These are so old school with, you know something like, but they're so pretty because they're clear and they're just bomb. Okay, so we're gonna, isn't this, <laughs> I love this. This is so cute. I will have the name on the screen, okay? So, uh, yeah. What'd you say? You say something? Did you say something? Okay. And this is gonna show off your eyeshadow, especially if you are you have a full beat like I do. Like this particular pair is going to, it's not hiding anything, okay? Very simple, but still making a huge statement at the same time next up we have a bit of a color block situation going on we have the green but then you have like the tortoise on the the side right here these are also really 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 pretty great with some green eyeshadow with anything actually because you know what i'm saying like if you have on like a green dress or a green top or whatever you're wearing to work like you know what i'm saying making a statement honey and the glasses are super affordable so y'all already know how this thing go <laughs> Okay. Okay, so this is another color very similar to one of the last frames that I had on my channel. Now this is so pretty. These are so, so gorgeous, okay? Look at these. They have that blue, it's like a little marbly effect. It's blue and it's brown, you know what I'm saying? And this also has like the little pearls behind the ears. So if your hair is up, like, a lot of action going on back there okay my hair is down right now so you can't see that but these honey i'm telling you you got the right pair of frames especially if you're four eyed like me it means business your glasses says a lot about who you are at the same time like i don't play no games okay cut me my check okay this is very retro very vintage in my opinion it has that gold detail going on at the very top green frames all the way around with that little bit of hint of gold very you see what i'm saying like it's giving um 
I'm baking, it's giving, <laughs> I am making pancakes in the morning for my husband and my kids. Okay, as well as I'm gonna link up with the girls to talk about the neighbors later. <laughs> okay, yes, that is what it is given, honey. Very, very pretty, very simple at the same time, but you know something like a vibe, okay? And with this, you don't even need to do much with your eyeshadow. You just put these on because they're such a statement. At the same time, they're very, very simple and not doing too much, okay? Are really really pretty okay another very clean and simple pair i really like these in particular because they're so lightweight you feel like you're not wearing anything it has a little bit of a ombre type of effect going on there's a little hint of teal and turquoise at the very top and then it's clear at the bottom the bottom has a nice little shape under the nose and everything nice on the sides beautiful on the sides really 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 pretty you know z will be doing the do honey come on through yes okay no miss rachel i cannot go and get coffee right now you see all these papers i need to print how many things you want me to do and last but not least we have a cute red frame okay with a little bit of a gold detailing on the inside as well i don't know if you can see that at the very top right there these are very simple everyday wear beautiful red lip very clean on the face gold detailing right here on the side they look simple but they do have a lot of you know little details that give them that extra flair so yes okay whoop -de whoop shibbity boop 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 absolutely love these these are pretty okay guys so that is it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and commenting and engaging with me okay i absolutely love you guys for that you guys always do lift my spirit so you know teamwork make the dream work all right so um yeah make sure you check out zilu all the information for them will be down in the description box i absolutely love their glasses i have so so many of them and there is more to come so yes uh if it is your first time here go ahead and subscribe join the tribe come on in we are a happy bunch yes especially if you like the vibe <laughs> follow me on all of my social media platforms tiktok snapchat ig everything is under savannah silver um give the video a thumbs up because it helps me out comment down below because i do want to hear from you guys can't comment back to each and every single one of you but i do read everything i do give you guys that little heart right there to let you know that i've read it so um yeah make sure you do that and i love you guys take care of yourselves and until the next video you know take care of yourselves and i will see you guys real soon but if you don't want to wait till the next video i do have other videos on here so um yeah <laughs> they're gonna light up right after this okay so uh I talk to y'all real soon. I'm about to take these pictures, child. I'm feeling myself today. Okay, curly hair for the win. <laughs>